In the wake of protests in the Georgian capital Tbilisi calling for the release of former President Mihail Saakashvili, the U.S. Secretary of State has put four current and former judges in Georgia on a U.S. sanctions list. Accusations of significant corruption by the men, who chaired courts and sat on the High Council of Justice which oversees the judiciary, were leveled by the U.S. Secretary of State, Antony Blinken. However, no mention was made of Saakashvili's controversial conviction in 2021 for abuse of power. Saakashvili has been a prominent critic of the Kremlin, recently accusing Georgia's ruling Georgian Dream Party of having ties to Moscow and jailing political opponents while silencing independent media. Tens of thousands of people have joined in the recent protests in Tbilisi. Blinken said that by abusing their positions, the four individuals had undermined public faith in the judicial system, adding that the U.S. stands with all Georgians in support of democracy and the rule of law. Former Georgian Defense Minister David Kezarashvili has urged European governments to apply further pressure for the release of Saakashvili, noting the street protests and the many questions about Russian influence in Tbilisi. Saakashvili was a popular figure when he came to power in 2003 and was responsible for sweeping reforms which lowered corruption. However, his two-term presidency was marked by controversy and in 2008, he ordered a military operation in the former autonomous Georgian region of South Ossetia. This move is largely blamed for a war with Russia in which they now control 20% of Georgian territory. Saakashvili claims to be dying in jail, having been both beaten and poisoned while being kept in isolation. The U.S. sanctions list bans all four men and their families from traveling to the U.S. and also makes it illegal for U.S. entities to do business with them. Muruzadze has claimed that the U.S. government may go further than simply banning travel, raising concerns for the safety of both him and his family. The European Union has commented that before Georgia can become a formal candidate for EU accession, they must make judicial and governance reforms. Along with the sanctions list, this marks yet another pressure point in the long struggle for freedom in Georgia, as protesters hope for an end to corruption and for Mikhail Saakashvili to gain a fair and just trial or release. The U.S. is standing with all Georgians in the fight for democracy, rule of law and accountability for those who wrongfully abuse public power for personal gain. Now more than ever, the eyes of the world are on the current state of affairs in Georgia, following the resistance against those who seek to silence the nation's voice. It remains to be seen whether the U.S. sanctions list and push by the EU will be enough to create meaningful change in Georgia, and if so, how quickly it can come. While Georgians fight for a more just society, the rest of the world watches and hopes for success.